welcome back to my channel in today's video as you'll see by the title we are in the car we are doing another deep car chats um if you haven't seen any of my videos before then definitely check them out i've got a deep car chats playlist which i will link up here and it's basically me just sitting in the car having some deep chats with you guys about stuff that's going on in my life or about popular topics that you guys want me to talk about so yeah here we are another day another deep car chats and i really hope you enjoy it if you do don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's get into the video na, 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 na. um so in today's car chats video i really wanted to just talk about a little update really there's been a lot going on in our life um and i wanted to just kind of update you all on it give you a health update give you a baby situation update give you a flat update so if you don't already know in terms of my health i have got hypermobile ls daniel syndrome and part of this is regular physiotherapy i do physiotherapy all the time um just about strengthening my joints and being able to strengthen my muscles so that my joints stay in place and don't slide out um i also use joint supports all those kind of things um and yeah so i'm trying really hard to work super hard on my health um it's something that has really affected me the last few months i will pop my car chats video up here um this one i talked about our changing our plans to start a family as most of you will know my husband and I were trying for a baby but because of all my house stuff that came up we actually had to change our plans so if you want to know more about that I will link it up here this video is more of just an update about that situation so if you don't yet know the situation then I definitely recommend you watch that video first but this is an update so in terms of health update i'm feeling much better and um, every time i go to physiotherapy um they are she's very impressed she's very happy i'm definitely strengthening i'm definitely getting stronger so my physiotherapy exercises are increasing to make it harder and harder so i'm really pleased about that even on days where i feel like i can't do it and i feel like i'm not strong enough to do my physio and therefore I don't do it. I always feel so bad, like, oh my gosh, I'm ruining my progress. I'm not going to have done anywhere near as well. And then I go to my physio and I go to see my physiotherapist and she's just like, yeah, you're definitely stronger. I've definitely noticed a difference. And I'm like, oh, why did I get so worked up about it when I'm still getting stronger? So it's definitely a work in progress. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to need to do for the rest of my life. Um, it's not something that I'm going to need to do for like a few months and then I'll be fine. It's something I need to keep doing to maintain it. Um, but I'm really happy with my progress. I'm really happy with how far I'm going. Obviously, there's other things going on as well. One of which being my periods. I'm really trying to take control of my periods and really figure out what's going on and be the one that's controlling them rather than them controlling me um, because I get quite a lot of pain and it's quite debilitating so I'm trying to get to a point where my pain is reduced I'm able to maintain it and manage it and still pretty much live a normal day-to-day -day life even though I'm on my period so that's definitely a work in progress I'm definitely noticing small improvements which is amazing and I'm so thankful for that every day is different every day is a challenge um every day i wake up and there's something else or i feel okay so i feel like i can get something done but it's all about just taking it day by day and not making myself feel pressured um so i'm getting better at that i'm getting better at waking up and being like okay what's today going to consist of obviously it still sucks like i had plans i had goals and part of those goals were to have a baby but um, I think in my last video, I was very much still like, it's not going to happen anytime soon. I don't even know when it's going to happen. But um, the new update on that is that actually we have decided that I, as soon as I feel happy and I feel strong enough and I feel happy with my progress, um, I can request or speak to Josh about us starting to try again. So that was really hard for me and emotionally was a massive difficulty for me because every time I struggled, I would just feel crap because I'd be like, Lauren, why are you doing this? Why are you letting yourself be like this? You need to be better. It's not good enough. You need to be better than this. Um, whereas now um, I don't feel that pressure because Josh has kind of just taken a step back and been like, whenever you feel like you're ready, then you're ready. And it means so much to me that 
he trusts me to make that decision even though i emotionally struggle with not having children it's very easy for me to just be like okay great let's have a kid then um but obviously i'm not ready for that and i know i'm physically not ready for that so even though i want it i know that right now it's not wise for us to have it um or for us to try for a baby it's just not really wise at the moment and in terms of our flat um we have got a horrible flat <laughs> i hate it with every fiber of my being um, i feel very passionate about our flat we've had lots and lots of issues our electricity costs us an absolute fortune um and i've spent weeks and weeks and weeks looking into it calling people speaking to our electricity suppliers speaking to utility consultants trying to work out what's going on and why it's costing us such a ridiculous amount just to have our radiators on um and basically the moral of the story has been our electricity our electric electric heaters just cost a ton of money they're super inefficient um and our landlord's going to do nothing about it so we basically decided that we would move out early so end our contract early so we paid 500 pounds to leave our tenancy um and end our tenancy agreement obviously this isn't an official thing everywhere it's just something that you are able to do and the landlord and the estate agents decide how much and it's worked out negotiated between you um, but this was the price that we were told so we paid the money and we're like okay we're going to look for a new flat and we'll move to a flat that has gas that we're really happy in that we really like um so we explored lots and lots of options to be able to do that and then obviously the government announced a five percent deposit scheme so that means we're pretty close to being able to buy a house now um and all we've got to do is really grind down hard on our saving and we should be able to do it soon so we were like if we spend 500 pounds to leave our tenancy early and then spend like two to three grand moving obviously we're losing that money and that we could save by moving so we've decided we're just going to stay where we are um get some electric heated blankets if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i'm hunting them down at the moment trying to find the best electric blanket because obviously i'm aware that we're coming into summer but i mean it's really hot outside today even just sitting in my car i'm like oh my gosh it's boiling but it's freezing inside our flat so the weather doesn't seem to make any difference to our flat whatsoever basically we're just looking into buying something that we're able to heat our property with or able to heat ourselves up with so we don't have to use our super expensive radiators um just to give you an idea because i know it people are probably low oh, it's probably not that much we the first month we lived there we had our radiators on all the time um which in hindsight we didn't think anything of like we've lived in this is our fourth rental property and only one of our rental properties have had gas so we have lived in all electric flats this is our third all electric flat um we've never had this issue ever um so yeah it just cost us so much i think the first month that we lived there we obviously didn't know how much it was going to cost us so we had our heating on and i think we spent 400 pounds and used about 2600 kilowatts for that one month now that is more usage than they estimated for the whole year so we've basically just been through a whole load of crap it's all really rubbish i'm obviously not going to say who it is on here because they are currently our estate agent still but i'm very happy to talk more about the situation in full and do like a proper story time once we buy a place and move out think that is all of our updates that's a flat update baby update and health update i'm doing really good i'm feeling a lot better about stuff obviously i have wobbles everyone has wobbles um and there is a lot of things like that still upset me like not being able to have a child when you feel so ready for it is so hard like i know that some of you who watch my videos are trying for a baby and haven't been successful or have had miscarriages or have had to stop as well for other reasons or have your own health problems going on and it is really hard it's really hard when you have a goal and you have a dream and you're having to put it on hold because of your own health like it is it is really hard and i have days where i really struggle but in general i'm doing a lot lot better josh is always telling me that he's so proud of me and he thinks i'm amazing and he thinks i'm doing so well at dealing with this um and he's the only one in my whole life that sees the whole picture you know so coming from him means a lot a lot to me because he sees me every day he sees what i struggle with he sees my problems he sees all the health stuff going on and he's just been amazing. I can't fault him. He's 
incredible so i have got a couple of extra health bits going on at the moment that i'm trying to investigate um, something that's important to remember is that ellis danlos syndrome is actually a connective tissue disorder so obviously your connective tissues involve your bones your joints um your organs your skin your ligaments your tendons your muscles like it's literally everything so that means there is a lot of scope for health problems to occur and things to go wrong things with my organs um organ prolapse is very common because the connective tissues around your organs aren't super supportive um so all things like that there's just a lot of stuff you know <laughs> so josh is amazing and i'm so thankful for him and he sees the whole picture he sees what i deal with he sees he also has to deal with me which is huge like it's not an easy thing um not only to do with my illness but i'm still also very high maintenance irrelevant of my health issues i'm still quite high maintenance so yeah he is the best he's amazing and yeah we've just got so close during this time and i think it's been such a huge thing for our relationship and our marriage and it's just building more on that foundation you know and the bigger that foundation the stronger it's gonna be when we decide to start our family so yeah i'm super happy with where i'm at at the moment i'm really excited about this journey and um obviously there's hard stuff but i'm overcoming and i'm getting through it and you know god gives me strength every day and i'm very thankful for that um but yeah i think that's everything i think that's a full update i'm sorry if it was like pieces and bits and pieces from everywhere and everything i'm really sorry about that i really hope you enjoyed it again don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did and my phone is getting super hot because it's very sunny today so i probably should go back inside but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye guys